everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Time Is Up. So, hour and 48 minutes long. Bella Thorne is in it, and um, Benjamin Muscolo. Nobody else I really recognize. <laughs> um, but evidently, it is about uh, a couple, or uh, two people, who have an accident, and they're forced to reclaim their lives one minute at a time. Sounds kind of interesting to me, just by reading that, and then... Of course, um, you know, knowing that they have to live one minute at a time, it might be more of an exciting life. That, I don't know. Um, but, only 4.3 on IMDb. 561 people rated it so far, so, I don't know. We'll see. Um, seems interesting, but you never know. Could be bad. And, that's what people are saying. So, <laughs> I'll get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, let you know what I think. Stick around. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check-in. We're watching Time Is Up. We're at the 53 minute, 29 second mark. Um, I don't know if we're halfway. We're close. Um, but I thought I'd check in anyway. It's a little different than what I thought. I had thought that this accident was going to happen early. And, uh, you know, we were going to see this, you know, living minute by minute or whatever they meant. <clears throat> and it could not be that, like, uh, dramatic or, um, you know metaphysical that I'm thinking, or I don't know if that's the right term, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking it's something like that, supernatural, I don't know. Um, but it might not be that. I, I don't know, but it's, it's, right now it's more of a, um, romance type movie, I will say, with, you know, a lot of different things going on. So Bella Thorne, of course, is the, the main, um, character in all of this, and she's really into quantum physics, you know, um, really into math and, and, molecules and all that kind of stuff and, it, and it's she narrates at a time and it, and it seems like you know uh, I forget what I was gonna say but uh, you know um, oh, I can't think of it but uh, you know the thoughts <laughs> the theory and all that kind of stuff I had it but I forgot it but anyway so you know relates it to, to you know to atoms and, and molecules and binding together gets that I, there's a term and I can't think of it I'll get it next time anyway so like that kind of stuff um, she is uh, dating a guy on the swim team and there's another guy on the swim team he's an Italian so the one guy on the swim team he is um, you know from one side of the tracks the other guy is from the other side of the tracks if you will she also has uh, you know family life and, and issues going on there she's stressed out about quantum physics um, whatever now she um, the the guy from the wrong side of the tracks, he's actually an Italian, like born and bred Italian. And they happen to go to Italy at the scene that I'm watching now for a swim meet, which is, it makes it a little bit more interesting because he knows the, the lay of the land. But they become friends. Um, while she goes to surprise her boyfriend, she meets up with um, this other guy, I forget his name, I think it's Roy. Doesn't sound really Italian, I don't know. But, um, you know, and they're just friends and being together. Now, you, you obviously, uh, you can see that Roy really likes her. Um, but I don't know how she feels right now. I thought she liked him, but nothing has proven that way so far. But that's really what it's about. You can see it's setting up as more of a love triangle at this point. Uh, and there's more, a lot more details. Don't worry, I didn't spoil anything because it's a lot different than what I'm telling you, and I'm not getting into that. But it, I want to share with you more of the way the, the movie theme is going versus what I thought. Like, I thought it was going to be like, uh, I don't know, something different. Um, I don't know, you know, like I said, something that's, oh, they got to live every day one minute at a time, like, uh, you know, or something like that. Uh, um, memento, in a sense. <laughs> so it's not like that. It's more of a love thing. The other thing, too, I don't want to say it's a negative, but I feel there's, there's a lot of music. I mean, like, every scene has, like, uh, a part where now they're going to play music and do scenery and walking through the woods and all that kind of stuff. So, um, at first I, I found it interesting because I thought the song was good, but it seems like, I don't know, uh, it's a lot. So, there you go. That's what I got for you so far. It's not really my demographic, but we'll see where it goes. It wasn't what I was expecting, like I said, and, and uh, if I could think of what she was... You know, when she was talking, what the term was, I'll share with you um, next time. So if anything happens in between now and then, I'll let you know. If not, I'll see you at the credits and give me my final thoughts. I'm thinking, hopefully, it's going to change and uh, even spice up. Not that it's terrible, don't get me wrong, 
Um, but, again, not what I thought I was getting. So, All right, that's it. Let me get back to it here, um, and I'll give you an update soon. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Time Is Up. Um, I have to say that, uh, you know, first of all, that I don't think it's as bad as the scores dictate. Again, not my cup of tea, not, not my demographic, but it wasn't that that bad that, you know, I would probably give it a four, uh, more of a five or a six at least. Normally when you see those scores, it's really, really bad. Um, um, but again, that's my personal preference kind of score relating into that. So uh, those of you who like these, um, you know, it's more of a love story, a rom romance. Um, you might like this, um, like the the U series and all that stuff. Anyway, not you. You, <laughs> that's a different show. Anyway, um, the other piece of it I find interesting. I, I really, and this is kind of why I do these reviews. IMDb is is very misleading, as I had mentioned in the check-in. What I thought this whole movie was going to be about is not. In fact, in my opinion, the accident that happens really just it it, it extends the movie, uh, but doesn't have as much of a impact on the film as you may think if you think about it so um, you know that that could be up for debate possibly um, but uh, you know when I think about it I think you know kind of ruin that for people not spoiling it but like you know when you're really into this love story and it's like oh I really don't think that really had a lot of weight into what happened so um, the the music continued so music in every scene all the time um, it, it felt like it was Billie Eilish but I don't know who it was probably not um, the acting eh, you know nobody's gonna be running away with any Oscars in this one but you know in the end it was uh, it was okay it was a fun little love story that uh, you know that had some depth to it you know then you look at it and the, the different things um, all around like her family life What's going on in his life, Roy's life, in, in her, her actual boyfriend's life, Steve's life, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, they, they, it wasn't that, uh, you know, it wasn't, out, it wasn't without any depth to the characters. They did a good job there. And that's what I got for you, you know? So if you like these kinds of love stories and, you know, maybe rooting for the underdog, maybe not, you might be interested in this. If you like music, <laughs> you might be interested in this. But if you like, um, like a mind-bending thriller that will have you guessing till the end, that's not this. <laughs> so, um, there you go. That's all I got for you. I don't know if I was helpful or not, but uh, I think I might have been a little bit. But um, so, like I said, I'm probably about a five to a six. I'm five point five at five point. 5.63. No, I know. But anyway, uh, so hopefully that's it. That's all I got for you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Obviously, I need subscribers. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Kim with Irish Pub.